And to keep track of just how heavy your child's backpack really is before they carry it around all day. Yeah, Cheryl Mercedes spoke with a doctor about the importance of keeping backpacks light. Backpacks, lunch boxes. Back to school shopping is underway. Plan ahead, buy as much as you can ahead of time, look for deals. And one thing on a lot of lists is a new backpack. But while it is essential, it can be a real pain. And we mean that literally. Well, this is something that uh, as a pediatric spine doctor, I'm, I'm seeing a lot more of. Dr. Timothy Borden is the director of the Pediatric Scoliosis and Spine Program at UT Health. At our uh, national meeting, you know, there are talks about, you know, the back pain epidemic that's going on in our children. Dr. Borden says heavy backpacks are partly to blame. And one of the most common culprits for back pain is a heavy backpack. Uh, or a poorly positioned or poorly fitting backpack. So what can parents do? The general recommended weight for a backpack is about 15% of the child's body weight. And so if you weigh 100 pounds, that means the backpack should ideally not weigh more than 15 pounds. Also, the design of the backpack plays a role. The wider the straps on the backpack, the more it's going to distribute the forces over the shoulders of a broader area. So the thinner the strap, the more uncomfortable it's going to be. And keep those straps tight. Keep the backpack uh, closer to the back and sitting kind of like right above the waistline is going to be helpful. Good advice to help your kids stay pain free this school year. Yeah, you don't want young kids having shoulder pain. Which can happen. Yeah. Which can happen. I like the new support straps in the, in the front there. Yeah, we're keeping right you informed. We're keeping yes. you informed. Hey, we mm -hmm. want to know what issues are important to you before your kid goes back to school. Scan the QR code right there on your television screen or text the word school to 713-526-1111 and we'll send you back a link to take our back to school survey. Still ahead.